Hi guys, I finally received my micro SDX. So just now the postman delivered it. I'll just open it now. It's a little messy. So this is the microphone. And I believe this is the power supply. So let me keep them aside. Okay, so the bubble wrap is removed. Micro SDX. So before that. So this is the microphone. And uh, the feet. I think this is these are the bumpers, stick on bumpers for the feet. And the charger I believe so this is the charger it's pretty compact it has some heft to it feels solid so this is a difference between uh, the first version and this version this is uh, USDX plus and as you can see they have reconfigured the uh, connectors the holes and plus this has a I think on off button and a charger uh, socket so one is external power and another, another is the charger BNC connector and the buttons uh, I think the, the, the first version had at the bottom of this uh, rotary encoder now they have moved it here and the holes are also moved here and the display is much smaller now. I was hoping that the display would be bigger or at least the same but here the display is definitely small. Okay guys before I forget I just want to mention that this shell is aluminum of course extrusion. The front panel I'm disappointed I thought this would be also aluminum but no it looks to be an FR4 board a printed circuit board. Uh, both the front and the rear, both are uh, you can see. I think it's a an FR4, may not even be an FR4. I haven't opened it, but definitely not aluminum. So front plate and the back uh, face plates are not uh, aluminum. So anyway, now how I have connected is the output of the micro SDX goes to a, a watt meter. SWR and watt meter and that goes to a homebrew directional coupler for HF 30 dB directional coupler and that goes to a 50 watt uh, dummy load you can see it's a 50 watt dummy load so that is the basic setup and from the directional coupler I am uh, the forward measurement I am giving it to my Tektronix 495P spectrum analyzer. I was not able to connect my this is my bencher here. This has the regular uh, you know jack the stereo jack and although we have the provision for a key here it looks to be the same size and even the microphone connector what they have supplied is the same size. I think there is some mismatch it doesn't go in completely I didn't want to force it it doesn't go in at all even a little, little bit of uh, pressure it did not go so I just left it and I thought let me key with the microphone so now the microphone is connected uh, to the back here and that has gone in completely and I'm supplying it with a 13.8 volt external power supply so that's the working condition here so it's already on uh, 7.1 megahertz and let me key down I'm in CW and let me key down and see uh, so this is the mic and see how much power we get and uh, by the way the everything is default here I have not changed anything drive or anything as as received I have not even changed the call sign uh, in the CW auto uh, memory here I not I not made any changes as yet as of now so here this is the power it's 5.1 watt 
this WR1 5.1 watt and let, let us see what it shows in the spectrum analyzer as you can see it's uh, 5.6 dBm minus 5.6 dBm so here is a close-up now uh, I will not be showing the micro SDX uh, transceiver now uh, the I'll just be focusing on the spectrum analyzer uh, output display and now this is the 40 meter band and we saw it before but uh, with the close-up here as you can see it's 5.2 uh, minus 5.2 dBm uh, that's on the uh, 40 meter band and the harmonic the first one is at minus 51.2 dBm so that is a reference the first one and let us see the second one second one is at minus 47.6 dBm and third here it's almost nothing there so that is the 40 meter band so let us switch to 20 meter or uh, let us switch to uh, 80 meter band now now we are on 80 meter band and we'll be transmitting on 3.7 megahertz and uh, I will show you the power uh, watt meter reading but uh, now let us have a look at the spectrum analyzer the power output is only 3.9 watts SWR1 power output is 3.9 watts on 3.7 megahertz and as we can see here it is on the fundamental it is minus 11.6 dBm and the first one the harmonic is 50 point minus 50.8 50.4 dBm second one is almost nothing there you can see that so that was on 80 meters now we are on the 60 meter band transmitting on 5.3 megahertz on CW and the power output is 4.9 watts SWR1 and as you can see here how much that's 7.6 minus 7.6 dBm fundamental and I don't know what these are but however this one is minus minus 50 minus 50 dBm so that's on 60 meter band we are now on the 30 meter band transmitting on 10.136 megahertz and the power output is 4.3 watts and let us see what this shows here this is minus 3.2 dBm and the first harmonic is or whatever you know the uh, effects of mixing this output is minus 46.4 dBm and the third one is the this is actually fundamental first and second this is minus 48.4 dBm we are now on the 20 meter band transmitting on 14 decimal 074 megahertz power output is 5.1 watts and where are we now minus 8 dBm minus 8 dBm and the next one is at minus 40 minus 44.4 dBm and the next one after that this one is at minus 39.6 dBm we are now on 17 meter band transmitting on 18 decimal 1 18 decimal 100 megahertz and the power output is 3.9 watts and you can see here I'm not able to use the attenuator here so I'll try to measure as is this looks a bit unusual uh, let me try and go to the peak here okay 0 0.8 dBm and you can see here something that is minus 38.4 dBm and these are all minor 
and let us see what this what level is this one at this is minus 44 dBm so we are now on uh, the 15 meter band and transmitting on uh, 21 decimal 074 megahertz power output is 5.3 watts and we are at uh, what minus 5.6 dBm and I don't see anything nearby let me just move over okay change the start and stop frequencies so we can have a better view the first harmonic is at it's pretty low actually minus 54 dBm and the second one where are we that's at minus 47.2 dBm so that's where it is that's where we are we are now on the 10 meter band transmitting on 28 decimal 074 megahertz power output is 4.5 watts and where are we the second harmonic is pretty low at minus 52 dBm and the fundamental is at minus 4.4 dBm we also have something here at minus 48.2 dBm so this is just uh, the power measurement on the watt meter so on the 10 meter 28 decimal 074 is 4.7 4.5 watts on 15 meters the power output is 5.9 watts on 17 meters the power output is 3.9 watts on 20 meters the power output is 5.1 watt on 30 meters the power output is 4.3 watts on 40 meters the power output is 5.1 watt and guys just so you know there is a bug when I go from uh, when I go up to the uh, uh, 10 meter band I, w I cannot come back in, uh, for some reason now I am there it shows a 6 meter although I am on I am on 10 meters it shows a 6 meters and from here yes it transmits yes no issues it, it does transmit I can see the power it's on the uh, 10 meter band not on 6 meter as it showed uh, on the display now from here I cannot immediately go back to the other bands it although it shows as 6 meters now it shows as 6 meter 10 it just gets stuck at 10 see I'm turning it it goes to 6 but it doesn't turn if I turn it quickly then it changes see now it changed so that is a bug from here I'm not able to as you can see I'm tr trying to go back to the other bands lower bands it's not going but if I turn quickly then it changes so that seems to be a bug there guys anyway so that's the setup here I will uh, connect it to an antenna now and then see how the reception is I'm a little disappointed more than <laughs> disappointed thank you guys for watching uh, checking out this video bye bye